Hello there guys and welcome back to the Q8 Pilot channel. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at Flight Control Replay version 5 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. We will begin our video today with an overview of what has changed in version 5, followed by a short demonstration of how to use the tool to record and replay your flight. Flight Control Replay version 5 comes with a brand new user interface. I have placed version 5 on the right side and version 4 on the left side for comparison. As you can see, a much more compact user interface in version 5. Flight Control Replay options have been now laid out in a much more user-friendly manner, much more accessible and easier to read. As you can see on the left side we have version 4 and on the right side we have version 5. Transparency mode has also been integrated into this new version of Flight Control Replay. Flight Control Replay is now available through the Microsoft Flight Simulator toolbar. This gives you access to perform all the basic operations of Flight Control Replay from within the sim. A new cinematic replay with automatic camera switch has now been introduced in version 5. Another very nice feature in version 5 of Flight Control Replay is the introduction of a live ghost. This allows you for formation flying. Let's take a look. As you can see now, we have two Cessna 172s flying together in formation. From the Ghost Plane tab, in the Options menu, you are able to set the Ghost Plane Distance Offset, Altitude Offset, as well as the Offset Degrees. Flight Control Replay version 5 has better support for the PMDG 737 and the Phoenix A320. Let's take a look at the 737 during takeoff and landing from a recorded flight using Flight Control Replay. As you can see, the animations are properly supported now in this version of Flight Control Replay. Let us now perform a short tutorial to show you how to record and replay your recording using Flight Control Replay version 5. First, let's bring up the Flight Control Replay from the toolbar. Next, we're going to click on Record. Flight Control Replay will require that you enter a file name for your recorded flight. In our case, we're going to type C152 and we're going to hit enter. Flight Control Replay is now recording the flight. Let's minimize the window here and place it over the top and let's go ahead and release the parking brake, give it full power and take off. All right, that's enough recording to show you guys how this works. And now we're going to click on the stop button. Now we're going to load our flight. We're going to click on load and select the file that we've created, the C152, and click open. Now we're going to click on play. And as you can see, we are now back at runway 10 ready for departure. Flight control replay is now replaying exactly what we've recorded. Let's switch to the external camera. Of course, you can switch to the drone camera mode for those really nice cinematics, as you can see here. This brings us to the conclusion of our overview video of Flight Control Replay version 5. I hope that you have found this video to be useful and insightful. 
If you have any questions as usual, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.